Welcome at Financial Data Science. Today we are going to look at a Python module called Finta. So for today's session, I've already created a file. Uh, you can see it uh, here. And I will walk you through uh, the several lines of code. Uh, the, first, uh, the first line of code codes are uh, imports. Uh, we're gonna need Yahoo Finance. We're gonna need from Finta import TA. And Finta is a, uh, is a module for, for technical analysis. And I can show you over here. Let me see. So for today's sessions, session, I already prepared uh, a file. You can see it over here. Um, I'll walk you through the lines of code. Um, let's first start with the imports. We're gonna need Yahoo Finance. We're gonna need Finta and from Finta import TA. That's the technical analysis module. I can show you the documentation over here. Let's see, here you have the documentation. I will put a link to this documentation in the description below. Um, well, it's quite obvious, you can uh, read it, but in this tutorial I will also sh show you how, uh, how you can work with it. Okay, um, furthermore, we, uh, we're gonna need pandas and we're gonna need matplotlib, uh, import matplotlib.p pyplot as plt. Um, and this style use I will explain later on. Okay, uh, first thing we, uh, we're gonna have to do is uh, create a database. Um, this has been explained in earlier videos and these, uh, these videos are also mentioned in the link uh, below. Um, so a class called database uh, with a ticker in it and the download from Yahoo Finance, you can find over here with a start at, well, today we started the 1st of January 2019, and we end at the 31st uh, of, uh, of uh, December 2020. Um, we're gonna make the date also the index, and we set the maximum columns to display. Um, so uh, you can see all the columns in the data frame. Second definition is the quote, and it returns the data frame itself. Well, as I said, this has been explained in earlier videos, so uh, you can uh, copy this uh, from, uh, from uh, these videos, or you can copy the, the code from, uh, from this tutorial, which, uh, which also is in the description below. So what, uh, what is the uh, company we're going to look at today? It's Royal Dutch Shell. Uh, it's a Dutch uh, oil company. Um, used to be the, the biggest uh, company uh, in the world for a few uh, years ago, but uh, nowadays it's, uh, well, it's, it's still a large company, but uh, not as big as it used to be. Um, so what, uh, what uh, uh, is the first thing we're gonna do? We're gonna make a uh, variable db that's uh, calling the database and that's uh, putting in the ticker for the database rdsa.as and then we're going to make a variable df for data frame that is db.quote and if we print this it will look like this and here you see the data frame with uh, 2nd January 2019 until the last day in 2020 uh, with the open, high, low, close, adjusted close and the volume. A normal, a normal database for a, uh, a time series and for a stock. Okay, so now we're gonna use the uh, Finta, the technical analysis uh, module. I'm gonna make some room. I'm gonna set this one over here. So, okay, quite easy. You make a new column in your data frame. We call it SMA, uh, simple moving average, that is. 
and um, then you call the TA module dot SMA. You're going to implement the data frame and you're going to uh, name the amount of numbers for which you want to have a moving average. Uh, in this case, we're going to use 50, but you can make it 100, you can make it 2, you can make it whatever you want. Uh, but there are a few standards in um, which are, are, are predefined. Uh, normally it's uh, 50, 200. Um, you can uh, use 10, 10 trading days. Um, but it's uh, up to you. Um, when we print it, it looks like this. And there you see it. Um, here it is, the SMA column. Of course, the first 50 rows are NA. And here you have the last, uh, the last row for the small, uh, the simple moving average. Okay, so that's the data frame, and uh, well, it's easier to look at when you plot it in a frame, in a in a graph. So for that, we're gonna use matplotlib, and now I'm going back to the seventh line. Here you see. Plot style use uh, 538. So I can show you what that is. Here we have also this link will be in the description below. Um, but uh, Matplotlib has some predefined styles. And all the styles they have are here. Well, perhaps there are even more uh, today, I don't know. Uh, but you can look them up by using this code, print plt.style.available, and then you see all the available styles they have. Well, classic is of course classic, you can see it here, but you also have dark background. I think, I've not, not seen it, but I think it will have a dark, dark background. Um, and as said, we're going to use the 538 today. Um, well, you can, uh, you can, uh, explore these a little bit. Uh, I've uh, looked uh, over a few. Uh, personally, I like the ggplot. Um, the seaborn is also nice. But today, we're going to use, as said, the 538. Okay, back to Python. So, what we're going to do is, uh, first we're going to make uh, uh, a figure. So, plt.figure with a thick size of uh, 12 uh, width and 7 height. Then we're going to plot the closing price. Um, and that's uh, not this one, but it's this one. You can also use the adjusted close, of course, but uh, today we're going to use the close. It's calling the data frame. Uh, the label is set at close price, Royal Dutch Shell. The color is blue, that's the color of the line, and the line width is 1. That's the default, I think, uh, but as we are using this style sheet, I'm not quite sure what the default is. Normally it's 1, but um, I'd like to use 1 for, uh, for your pricing uh, lines and uh, point, uh, 0.5 for, for others. Uh, so in this case, that's the second line we're going to plot. That's the small, uh, the simple moving average. Also calling the data frame, the label as said, simple moving average. We give it a color of red, and as said, we give it a line width of 0.5. So it's it's not as thick as the the price line. Uh, the X label is set to date. The Y label is set as stock price. We, we would like to see the legend, and we would like to see the plot show. Okay, so let's run to see what, uh, what it is. And here you have it. A very nice plot. You can see the, the price from Dutch Shell since the 1st of January up until the end of, uh, of 2020. And the red line is the simple moving average following the, the blue line on a 50-day base. 
Um, oh, that's all for today. Uh, you can explore other items uh, within the module of Finta. Uh, very nice and uh, very efficient module, might I say. Um, I hope uh, I hope you uh, like this uh, tutorial. Um, as said, the code and all the links are in the description below. And hope to see you uh, another time. <laughs>